Let's take a look at a couple of ways of how we can save and record findings that we're making in the 3D volumes. So firstly, let's assume that we're navigating here somewhere in the volume and we find something interesting that we would like to go back to later. So we would like to have these views just like we see them now here on the screen. In order to save this, we can go to the upper toolbar and click on save. This allows us to specify a name for our view. For example, we could put their tooth number, we could put a name of the finding, anything, and we could save that by clicking OK. Then we could uh, go on, navigate in the volume, look for other findings. And now, if we would like to go back to that view where we were earlier, we can find our view here in the object browser under views. So we could click on the name of the view that we saved and Romexis will take us back to the view that we had saved earlier. So this is our way of saving the findings inside the 3D module. So if we would now close the volume and reopen it again, we could always go back to these views by clicking on these links here under views. Another way uh, of saving findings is to take 2D snapshots of them. So we could, of course, first also uh, add some annotations on the view. And then when we would like to save this as a 2D view, we could use this camera-like icon next to any of these slice views. And also here in the 3D rendered view, we have one. So if we click on this, Romexis will save us this view as a 2D snapshot in the 2D module for the same patient. So let's go to 2D module and we can see our uh, 2D snapshot here in the CBCT category. So this 2D snapshot now, we could uh, further process with the 2D image processing tools and we could also make annotations on it and so on. Let's then go back to the 3D module. If instead of uh, saving only one uh, of these views, we would like to save, for example, all of the four, there's another option for us to save 2D views. That's here in the upper toolbar called uh, Snapshot. So if we activate this, we get this small dialog where we can specify which views and in which way uh, would be saved as 2D images. Firstly, if we would like to save several slices of, uh, of the views and configure also the layout uh, in which they would appear as uh, 2D images, we could use this multi-panel division here and specify how many slices and uh, how they would be distributed in columns and rows using this multi-panel division control here. If we would just like to simply save uh, some of these four views here, uh, we could play with the options here. So firstly, we could determine which views would be included in the 2D snapshot. So if we would like to exclude, for example, this 3D rendered view, we could click on that or the axial view, for example. So now we would be saving only this. Or then we could click back here in order to include these views. Then a little bit about the options. If we select color image, the image is saved as 8-bit uh, colored image. If we deselect that, uh, it will be saved as 12-bit uh, grayscale image. So especially if we would like to work on uh, these 2D snapshots later in the 2D module, it might be better to save it in black and white. Then if we uh, create a single image, we will have one image containing all of these views. Instead, if we deselect this, we would get four separate images. Generate images as shown saves the images with the zooming level that is applied uh, currently on the screen and high resolution increases the resolution. So if we have a low resolution image, uh, the labels might uh, appear a little bit grainy. So uh, this might uh, improve the situation. Large fonts makes uh, the font uh, easier to read if we have any text uh, on the images. And then if we always prefer to use some uh, certain set of uh, settings here, we could save them as default presets so that the snapshots would always be saved uh, with the same options. And once when we're ready, uh, we can click on OK. and the 2D snapshots uh, get saved here in the 2D module uh, for the patient. So also this one we can find here in the CBCT category. And like I said, now we could continue working on the 
image with these 2D uh, processing tools. Let's still go back to 3D module. Here, finally, let's take a look at how we can write diagnosis uh, for the volume. So diagnosis we can find here in the image properties here in the upper toolbar. So if we open this, we can find here diagnosis tab and we could write here our diagnosis for the image so that we could view it later.